Hello, I'm Paul Davis from Hi-Fi Cables. I'm then going to talk to you about the Q Acoustics QTV2 speaker system. This is a unit here which fits behind a flat screen between 30 and 42 inches wide and effectively is a very, very high quality speaker system with an inbuilt amplifier and an inbuilt subwoofer, which as you'll see later when it's fitted to the screen, you'll barely know it's there until you turn it on and hear the difference in sound. The QTV2 has a pair of speakers, one on each side. They look remarkably small, but produce an incredible amount of sound on these extendable arms in order to enable it to fit different sizes of flat panel screen. And then with this unit here, there's a powerful subwoofer unit and also a 100 watt amplifier. Fitting the QTVT to your screen is really simple. All you need to do is to take these two bars that come with the kit and then they're fitted with four supplied bolts into the four holes you'll find in the back of the screen, basically they're the Visa fitting screw fittings that are used for attaching to standard brackets. Now Q Acoustics are very helpful because they give you a complete set of bolts, spacers and washers in order to be able to fit any screen on the market. All you have to do then is take the unit, rest it in the slots in the bottom of the brackets and then clip on at the top like that. And now you can see from the front how unobtrusive the unit is and the fact that even these two small speakers are barely noticeable against the screen. There are only then two connections that have to be made. The first one is to take the main supply unit and plug that in. What you then have to do is to take a cable from the headphone output on the screen and plug that into the QTV2 here. Now that's the preferred way of doing things because by using the headphone output you only need one remote control, the original one for the screen, and that will continue to control the volume with the QTV2 plugged in. If however you don't have a headphone output then instead you can take a phono pair or an optical output but then you're going to have to control the volume on the QTV2 using this supplied remote control. Now we'd love to demonstrate to you on the video the difference between the sound of the QTV2 and a normal television but really it's, it's not effective, you wouldn't actually hear the differences to be honest. So to give you an idea of the difference in sound, we're talking about something much, much louder, much more dynamic, a lot more treble, and in particular an awful lot more bass than you'd ever get out of the existing screen.